What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another wrap reveal. Today's the day you find out what color we selected for our Ferrari FF. Once again, we went with a super sick Anosa Tech color. So now we have the Rolls Royce in Anosa Tech, the Aston Martin in Anosa Tech, and the wrapped Mercy Lago. Not in Anosa Tech. I don't think so. I don't know what brand this wrap is, but uh, Christian's out here somewhere. I can hear it. Oh man, does it look good. Aha, I got it in black and white so you guys can't see what color we went with. Sounds so good. But it's about to sound even crazier because at the end of this video, stay tuned, no skipping forward, we are gonna be doing another exhaust mod to this car. A nice little X-pipe installed to get that high pitch V12 sound. These wrap reveals are always some of my favorite videos because nothing ever goes wrong, nothing breaks, and we get to see the final product on the car. It is always so tough to decide between all the amazing Anazitech colors and Vaseline. Caleb, you would send us one little sneak peek of one panel going down, but I finally get to see the finished product product and I think we nailed it. And as always, we love to showcase our new wraps in the foothills of the mountains in a beautiful photo shoot spot. We're gonna roll up in just a minute or maybe 30 seconds if Christian guns it. Oh, a little V12 pull. <laughs> My goodness, there was more and more pedal. That was not flooring, so I'm like, okay, a little more, and then I'm like, okay, a little more. I hit VTEC mode. But I think it would greatly benefit from that X-pipe, so stay tuned to the end of this video. Don't skip forward on any of it. You guys are gonna love this whole thing. Without further ado, here we are rolling up, introducing our new and improved Ferrari FF. Boom, guys, and just like that, a few days later now, as promised, the FF exhaust mods are here. The new X-Pipe is on the car. Corey here at Corsa knocked it out this morning. Yo guys, give me a quick moment to give a big shout out and thanks to the sponsor of today's video, Athletic Greens. Athletic Greens is a comprehensive all-in-one greens powder engineered to support your body's nutritional needs across four pillars of health. Your gut health, immune support, energy, and recovery. It's packed with 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food source ingredients combining the perfect amount of micronutrients, absorption, and taste to jumpstart your daily routine. Now I don't know about you guys, but if I'm being honest with myself, I probably don't have the best diet out there, so that's why Athletic Greens is a no-brainer because it fills that huge nutrition gap that my body needs all right here in this bottle. It's super simple. All you do is add a scoop of the AG1 to eight ounces, eight to 12 ounces of cold water and you're good to go. And speaking of being a busy person, it also helps with that because it's packed full of energy supporting ingredients to keep you going throughout the day. Like natural form B12, biotin, bioavailable folate, and magnesium. It's gluten-free, contains no eggs, no GMOs, no added sugar, and is nut and dairy free. As a JR Garage viewer, Athletic Greens will be giving you a year's supply of vitamin D and five free travel packets for free with your first purchase. If you wanna get healthier, be sure to hit that special link in my description and claim your free year's supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. And yes, it tastes good too. So thank you Athletic Greens for supporting the channel and making videos like this possible. Without further ado, back to the video. Super straightforward, the Uru 2 X-Pipe goes right in place of the H-Pipe and it's just like the Maserati, it fits basically the same, you just have to cut one inch off, so super easy install. And now hopefully, it's a slightly higher pitch. An X-Pipe would help that because it combines the exhaust pulses as they go out to the back, split to the four tips. Christian's driving the RX-8 back, I'm driving this. Let's see if we can hear a difference. This is the next stage up for this car's exhaust note. As you you guys know we started out with a completely stock system and then we went with just wiring open the valves a very simple mod literally takes five minutes costs zero dollars just free mod to basically bypass most of the mufflers by keeping the valves open all the time it sounds good totally 
no complaints at all. It's a great balance, I think. It's still on the quieter side, so we could do something to wake it up a little bit more, but we're taking baby steps. We don't want to go too crazy and then regret it. So here's the next step, is the X-Pipe. So let's, let's see what a warm start sounds like here. The revs and the higher RPM is probably where we'll hear more, more of the sound difference. Okay, three, two, one. Ah, similar, but you can tell it's a little different. X-pipes are known to almost smooth out the exhaust note and maybe make a little less drone. So this may at the end of the day quiet it down some, but it should make it a higher pitch and a really clean sound. So we'll see when we get on in a little bit. Oh man, guys, that's just a little baby acceleration. Quarter throttle and it already sounds way better. We'll do that same acceleration we did when we first bought this car and let's see if we can hear a difference. Let her rip, Tater Chip. Okay, okay, okay. That was loud. Definitely a higher pitch. I mean, it's subtle, it's nothing crazy. All we did was wire open the, the valves and put in an X-Pipe. This is a super budget friendly exhaust. Okay, here he comes. Shoot. Jeez, just half throttle there. Sounds so good. So I think it's the perfect balance between crazy and civil, and you get a little higher pitch because of the X-Pipe. I like it, and with the new wrap, just I'm in love with this car. So comment down below your thoughts. Should we invest now at this point to make it sound better is thousands of dollars. So is it worth that or should we leave it with the budget-friendly exhaust? Look at this beast. Okay. Ah. Damn. I cannot believe that we are able to improve on this Ferrari FF tuned exhaust with a $1 valve wire open job and an X-pipe, a drop-in X-pipe for what, a few hundred bucks? Yeah, and yeah, I think that's all he charges. Normally, like other exhaust companies for an X-pipe, especially for a Ferrari with Ferrari tax, yeah. I mean, they would want like 800 bucks, 1,000 bucks, but Yurutu, very fair. I'll put up his Instagram page. He was actually nice enough to send us out this X-Pipe for free because he wanted us to test it on the FF. Well guys, we made it back to the garage with the Ferrari FF and we figured what better opportunity to showcase all of our wrapped cars and all of our cool spec cars for that matter than to lay them all out together for a little mini supercar garage tour. You guys have been begging for a full garage tour, which yes, we promise will be coming at some point, but that's like 30 or 40 cars and that's gonna be insane to coordinate getting them all in one video, but it will come. It'll just take us like many days to film it and it'll, it'll be like two hours long. So in exchange for your patience, let's show you some of our favorites and it is great to see the ramp space that we have for when we do do that full collection tour we can fill this place up yeah imagine awesome. imagine all of our cars lined up all the way up the taxiway that would be super cool but for now these are the cool specs the exotics this is the if we won the lottery in 2010 collection it really does look like it it's crazy the original value msrp of these cars and what we paid i mean i kind of want to i kind of want to go over that real quick that's super cool okay so the ferrari ff we know this one as you guys saw last last video with this car uh we found the original window sticker it was three hundred and sixty-five thousand dollars, and guess what we paid 85 grand for the car next up rolls royce christian you're the one who found this car yeah so i found this rolls royce ghost it's a 2010 the first year in fact all these cars are post 2010 other than the mercy lago but the sticker price I think would have been, again, over $300,000. It's got a bunch of crazy options that we rarely use, like night vision mode. I guess if a coyote runs across the highway, we would get a little more heads up on it. But otherwise, the 360 camera I think is pretty early for its age, but we really love this thing. It amazes me. Going from a Bentley to a Rolls Royce, I do see why there is such a difference in the resale value. The Rolls Royce really does feel like you're riding on clouds. And once again, thank goodness we didn't have to pay over $300,000 for this car new. We got it for less than 80 grand used with only 25,000 miles. 
Uh, the next example, the Maserati. As you guys know, the sticker for about $150,000. We got it at auction for $31,000. Then the engine blew up, as you guys learned. But it's been behaving itself the past few days, so hopefully we don't ever have to replace another engine in this car. Tycon, uh, we didn't get a steal on that one. But then again, window sticker is kind of a steal on these, so that's cool. Uh, the Murcielago, once again, retailed for 400, almost $400,000. And despite it being a rare six-speed manual, we still paid way less than that for it. But probably the craziest MSRP to purchase price ratio goes to the Aston Martin Virage. This thing stickered for $240,000 and we paid, get this, uh, $34,000 at auction. Needed like 1500 bucks worth of work and now it is a turnkey beautiful car. So that's the rundown of what we paid for all of them. I know you guys always like talking those numbers, but let's talk wraps. Christian, this is probably what, your favorite wrap thus far? Then again, the FF competes with it, but this was your favorite, the, the green. Yeah, I was gonna add that we did invest in the wrap, but it was so well worth it. This is Midnight Metallic Green. They do also have a vintage racing green, but we think that this is even a better fit for that British racing green, Aston Martin. We love it. Yeah, so of all the cars we've wrapped, this one has to be up there with our favorites. Such a beautiful color. I'll put in some pictures. It's obviously dark now, so it's not sparkling as much in the sun, but it's a beautiful metallic color. Anozatec killed this color. But then again, the FF, I think, takes the cake for my new favorite wrap color. This vampire red is so cool. But honestly, that's why we laid out all these cars, so you guys could tell us which one is your favorite. But we gotta give some kudos to the Midnight Metallic Purple. This color is so cool. This has been on the car for over 10,000 miles now, and look how well it's held up. It just goes to show a good quality installer like Fastlane, and a good quality wrap will protect your paint for years to come. Yeah. This it's, is super dusty. It's dirty, it's dirty. Knocks out two birds with one stone. It protects the paint, and it completely transforms the car. So. This, honestly, I like the purple too. These are these are my favorite Anosa Tech colors. Anything metallic is the best of the best because it really does look like paint. Of course, they offer a bunch of different colors, but in our opinion, it's the metallic ones that really honestly look like a paint job. And some more info I would love to share with you guys because it was new to me. I was not a believer in these self-healing properties that people talk about with their clear bras and with their wraps. However, we did get some hairline scratches in the FF Jeffrey took a little hair dryer to it. It would probably be the same thing in the sun. Always interrupting. Plane. In two days, we're going to pick up a new plane in Los Angeles. So again, stay tuned to JR Aviation to see what that is. Uh, but yeah, I, I will admit, I'm the one who caused the hairlines. Oops, my bad. Uh, but I texted Caleb and he's like, hey, just take a, take a heat gun to it. They'll come right out. And I, I'm like, nah, come on. Like, what are you talking about? I did it they vanish before my eyes. Yeah, that will not happen with paint. So I wasn't a believer, but it's not in front of my eyes. And speaking of that plane, we need all this ramp space. We need that taxiway space because I think for the whole garage tour, it should also include the five planes. planes. Yeah, guys, we haven't told you yet, but we've, we've bought a lot of airplanes. So we have like five planes right now. That is epic. Comment down below, guys. Do you want to see just a garage tour or do you want to see the planes in with it? Imagine five planes along the ramp and then like 30 cars down the taxiway. Like that would be the most epic garage tour ever. Garage, Jared garage, open house. <laughs> Jared garage, open house, literally. So comment down below if you guys want to see that. But here you guys go, a little mini tour of our exotics and the cool spec cars. But I didn't want to leave these two out because they have some of the coolest paint jobs. Yes, I know we love our wraps, but honestly, the frozen blue metallic that Porsche came out with is gorgeous. And then of course, course the pearl yellow that's on Lamborghinis you guys know I'm a sucker for pearl paint jobs this is so cool too so we had to throw these in here and the Maserati while the exterior is a cool metallic gray whatever that's pretty boring it's all about the interior so that's why I brought this one out here too so here are all of our cool spec supercars and luxury cars but what do you think of the new Ferrari FF be sure to comment down below thank you so much Anosa Tech what a cool color I'm so happy we went with this one really reminds us of the Rosso Marinello Christian killed it he picked this one out you nailed it well done done. It's crazy to think that it's been sitting outside for three days at Corey's. It's filthy, yet it looks incredible. And that is why I love this wrap so much. If you're wondering about the stripe, we had to do that because this big V12 hood is so huge. We didn't realize that we got away with it on the Rolls Royce because it has that factory chrome trim strip down the middle. 
but this we decided to go over it and wrap rather than overlapping it and I think that it looks clean and looks all yeah. factory. Honestly, we were starting to freak out when Caleb was like, guys, like it doesn't work. We're gonna have a seam. We're like, oh geez, no. Like uh, we're gonna have to do a stripe. It's not gonna look good. Like what are we gonna do? And Caleb's like, don't worry, I'll take care of it. We'll do a black stripe. It's gonna look great. So who knows? Everything happens for a reason. Even though the Nozatec roll wasn't wide enough to fit the whole hood, here us needing to do two pieces and a seam down the middle covered by the stripe actually worked out better. I probably would have done the stripe regardless. I think it's really cool. In fact, I don't think any wrap rolls are wide enough, at least not for the common market. I think we need to propose a bill to widen wrap rolls. And now with the new X-Pipe on this car, I'm just fully in love. The stars in the roof headliner, this new wrap, everything is completely dialed in just how I want it. We can really get enjoying this car. In fact, we've already put over 1,500 miles on this car. Let's take a look. You guys remember we bought it with uh, 81,000 and change. What's it at now? 82,000. 900 nearly. It's about to hit 83,000 miles. There's the Starlight headliner. I got mixed opinions on this in the comments, but honestly in person, I'm so happy with it. So what do you guys think of the FF? The new and improved Ferrari with this gorgeous new wrap. Thank you guys for watching. We are racing off to a birthday dinner because my birthday was two days ago. So sorry this video is so rushed and crazy, but I hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for next video because we're getting the C5 out of its hibernation, ready for the free car giveaways number three coming up soon. So if you guys want to win one of our cars for free, be sure to follow free car giveaways and stay tuned in two weeks it is officially going live and somebody random is going to be winning that car thank you guys for watching see you in the next one